Iran has announced the successful test firing of its new long-range ballistic missile. The projectile dubbed Imad is a surface-to-surface -surface missile manufactured by the Defense Ministry. It can be guided to the intended target with high precision. The Defense Ministry says the new achievement sends a message to the Iranian nation that the government does its best to defend the country against any aggression. Press TV's Yusuf Jalali now has more. Iran has made another military achievement to consolidate its defensive power. The new domestically made ballistic missile is dubbed Emad. Emad is a long-range missile capable of hitting distant targets with high precision. The missile has been successfully test-fired. It is a new generation of surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles that can fly more than 1,700 kilometers. The liquid propellant missile can be guided and controlled until it hits its targets. The new achievement is regarded as a technological leap in the country's defense industry. The guided missile is a new technology achieved by Iranian engineers in the defense ministry. It will further strengthen our power of deterrence. Speaking to reporters, Iran's defense minister, Brigadier General Hossein Dehran, said the new achievement is a message to the Iranian nation that the defense ministry spares no effort to protect the country from any act of aggression. I assure the Iranian people that we will continue bolstering the country's security, and with each passing day, Iran's military might is boosted. Dehkan also sent a message to regional countries emphasizing that Iran's military might bolsters the region's stability. I want to send a message to neighboring countries that Iran's stability and might will bring stability and security to the region. Our military might poses no threat to our neighbors. Meanwhile, Iran's response to any threat against its sovereignty will be crushing. The Iranian defense minister said the Islamic Republic needs no permission from any country to strengthen its defensive power, especially in the production of ballistic missiles. He assured that the mass production of Imad long-range missile in the near future will further enhance the country's tactical and operational power. Yusuf Jalali, Press TV, Tehran. Let's discuss that a bit further. We're now joined by Professor Fawad Izadi, who is a professor at the University of Tehran, and he's joining us live right on the on the line from right here in the Iranian capital, capital Tehran. Professor Izadi, as always, thanks very much for joining us here on Press TV. I'm wondering um, how important is it for Iran to increase its defensive capabilities, especially considering the regional uh, situation right now? Well, as you know, uh, we have a number of countries that attempt to attack Iran militarily, United States, uh, that. Uh, every week, we have the uh, Israeli Prime Minister threatening Iran militarily also almost uh, every week. So by doing these exercises, by showing off new missiles, by uh, presenting advances in uh, technology of missile building, Iran is sending a signal uh, to the other side that Iran is uh, capable of defending itself and they should not uh, really think about attacking Iran because the response would be quite severe. This is one signal that uh, Iran is uh, sending. I think the other reason you're seeing uh, more activities in terms of missile production, missile exercises, missile showcases is because uh, based on the talks that Iran has had in C5 plus 1, uh, agreements, we have a situation where uh, the other side would like to control and limit Iran advances uh, in terms of its uh, uh, ballistic missile activities or long-range missile activities. So the second signal that the Iranian government is sending is that Iran is not going to link limitations on its nuclear program to its uh, ballistic missile capabilities. Iran has said repeatedly in the last couple uh, of months that uh, what Iran does in terms of ballistic missile is Iran's business. Iran does not accept limitations on its defensive missile programs. And uh, to prove that uh, the Iranian government and Iranian military is going to uh, do this type of thing, showcase new missiles, have uh, exercises, military exercises, which are normal. Any army in the world would do this, but just to send a signal to the other side that Iran is going to continue with this, uh, this project. The, the number of exercises, of missiles that are going to be showcased, uh, showcased to 
increase in the months to come. Professor, Professor Izzeli, we have about a minute left. I'm wondering, um, you know, the leader of the Islamic Revolution recently spoke about Iran's defensive capabilities, saying, though they're good, they need to be stepped up. Um, where do you think um, those defensive cap capabilities stand at this point, and of course, um, the leader's eyes? Uh, well, uh, the reason um, Iran is not attacked is because of these capabilities. Uh, and Iranian leaders, military leaders, understand that. Uh, Iran does not want to become another Iraq or Afghanistan. The reason these countries were attacked was because they did not have um, uh, extensive missile capabilities. They were not able to defend themselves. So the lessons that Iranian leaders have learned from U.S. foreign policy in the last uh, many years is that if you are not able to defend yourself, the U.S. is going to attack you. So the logical conclusion is that Iran is going to increase its uh, programs on uh, defense capabilities, especially missile capabilities. Uh, and um, this is uh, what the Iranian leaders have decided. And the talks on Iran's nuclear program uh, are not going to limit what Iran does in this area. Okay, we'll leave it there at that. But as always, Professor Izzadi, we appreciate your insight. That was Professor Fouad Izzadi, who had been speaking to us live right here in Tehran.